Hey, Tony Gaskins here. Welcome back to another episode of Car Chronicles. Now, we still in the Dodge Challenger Superstock, 807 horsepower, riding around the city, just really vibing and thinking through some of these things that we've been facing. And one of the things, and I, I wanna be very real and transparent with you on this, where I struggled in my marriage. I went through a season where I was equating money. I was equating everything to money because I went from making $20,000 a year to making six figures. And then I went to seven figures and in that time period, in that growth, I started to just be very literal in my mind. And I've heard other men do this on different podcasts that I've heard a few seconds of, of guys saying, how much is it worth what a woman does? Cooking, how much is that worth per day? Cleaning, how much is that worth? And a lot of guys know that for some escorts, I've heard guys paying $1,000 an hour. So then a man says, hey, if I make $100,000, then my woman should give me 100,000 hours, 1,000 hours of sex or 100 hours of sex. So if your woman giving you sex, once a week, twice a week, three times a week. If you going five minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, whatever you doing, you looking at probably at the most an hour and a half a week. And that's on three times. So as men, we'll start to equate things like this. And I done heard men say this out loud. That's how I know I wasn't the only one. And I was like, man, I don't feel like the work that's being done around the house and in the bedroom is equivalent to the money that's being made. And man, that I realized that was one of the most toxic ways to think. And I'm gonna tell you why I started thinking like that. Because it was men online who was thinking like that and was saying that. And to sore ears, that sound good. Like we want that type of advantage. Like we want that type of treatment we want that but it's in actuality it's not fair and it's not right because money doesn't always equate to itself like to the work like you could do a job and you actually make way more than the amount of hours you put in so i can work for three hours and them, them three hours of work, let's say I'm filming something, them three hours of work could make me $100,000 if it's a course or even it's certain videos that the made, a video on YouTube can make $40,000 and it's a 15 minute video. And in the course of a year, it could make $40,000. So we put in 15, hour, 15 minutes worth of work on that particular course or video, and then it makes tens of thousands of dollars, and then we expect our woman to put in hours of work to pay us back for that. And then it's men who say, oh, well, that ain't how I think. I don't equate the money like that. But we're not paying attention to how it may make us talk to our woman. And one thing, one of my things, and I heard another man say this online too, he was talking about the harshness in how we talk to a woman and how when you talk to a woman in a harsh way, it can break her. And I seen that in my marriage where as I was growing and learning, I'm talking to my woman and come to find out my woman may not receive the way I talk and the thing about it is, is a lot of times as men, 
we talk a certain way because we play sports or we went to the military or we was raised with a certain type of woman, certain type of man. And that takes in, it skews our mind and the way we see things because we're used to this aggressive tone. But our woman who has given her life, given her heart, given her mind, she's given all of these things that she expects a safe space. She expects a space of humble, caring, kind, passionate communication. But if we're angry, if we're frustrated, if we're feeling some resentment, if we're not feeling appreciated, if we're not feeling affirmed or loved, or we feel like we, we got a lot of output, but not, we got a lot of output, but not getting a lot of input, then it changes the way we talk to our woman. It changes the way we talk to our woman. And then if you do this over a prolonged period of time, it'll break you. It'll break a person's spirit. And I've learned as a man that we got to be careful how we communicate and that we got to be careful what we say and also how we say it because a woman doesn't communicate the way a man communicates. And a woman will be willing to grow, to change, to accommodate, to do anything for the man that loves her and cares for her. She'll be willing. I want you to think about this and I want you to think about the way you talk to your woman, the way you treat your woman the way you deal with and handle those interactions and that communication. And make sure that you're coming from a place of heart and love and passion and you're coming with respect. And be a gentle warrior. When it comes to your woman, be a gentle warrior. When you sit down to talk to her, really think about the way you're phrasing your sentences, the way you putting together your words and what you're actually saying to her. So that way you can understand knowing her, what she's hearing and how she's hearing it. And anything we say, there's typically at least two other ways it can be said. And sometimes you gotta write down or say all three before saying what you need to say, even if it's a tough, con especially if it's a tough conversation if it's a tough ask. So, hey, this is Tony Gaskin. Thank you so much for tuning in. Any topics that's dealing in this male stratosphere, even if you're a woman watching this and you have something you're curious about, about how men process something or deal with something, throw me out some topics and let's continue to build and talk through this. God bless you. We'll talk soon.